wonder why are you outside in a cooking video with your clippers wait a minute the whole thing's backwards look and of course now the little holes are clogged this is what i'm gonna vent my instant pot with that might have been eight plops wrong end that doesn't go in the wall i'd love someone to have to add some fat to me wouldn't you like that i would never steer you wrong guess what time it is hashtag let's instant pot I said it right, I said it right, instant pot, instant pot. I'm gonna figure this out one of these days. This is not an insta pot, it's an instant pot. What are we making today in our instant pot? This, this, I love this stuff. Hamburger helper, who doesn't love them? some hamburger helper? Now, if you saw in my other video, I made Kraft macaroni and cheese. Well, today we're doing this. This is my fave. Love it. Now, we are, whoa, sorry about that. We are not using hamburger, not using hamburger. Well, it's kind of hamburger, but again, we're using this because I have a lot of this. I have about 30 pounds of this stuff. This is deer meat. Probably that much is hamburger and the rest is deer meat because deer meat is very lean. It's very lean. You have to add some fat to the deer. <sighs> if only we were all deer running around the woods. I'd love someone to have to add some fat to me. Wouldn't you like that? All right, so in this, go in, in it goes, in it goes. Into the Instant Pot, see? Maybe. I might have to give it a little, oh, there it went. Didn't have to give it a little squeeze at all now, did we? Oh, I forgot to dump the blood out. That's gross, but that's okay. That's okay. Maybe that blood will cook down, maybe. All right, so we need to saute this, and there's a setting on this Instant Pot for saute. Wrong end, that doesn't go in the wall. Make sure this is plugged into your machine because if you don't, you're gonna have a problem because your machine isn't going to turn on or it's going to turn off in the middle of your food. That happened to me before. Wait a minute. Where's this? Go? Oh, right here. Right there. Right away, Michelle. There we go. We'll plug this right back here into the wall. And there it beeped, so it's on. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the saute. And I know I don't need it that long, but I'm going to be here with it anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And my dog, look at my dog, waiting for me just to drop something. Well, I've got news for you, dog. Today isn't your day. We're not dropping anything. Oh, wait, I already got my, this thing out. So we're just going to mush this up. I don't know about your weather, but it is so freaking humid in Ohio that I just can't stand it. I was going to dehydrate something, but we all know how that goes. When you dehydrate in the rain or humidity, it takes forever. Just forever. And I don't have forever today. Or probably not tomorrow either. I do know one thing, though, that I have fibromyalgia like really bad. And this weather has been really just messing with me. I've spent the last, I've been sleeping a lot, let's just put it that way. By a lot, I mean I'm usually in bed by 4 or 5 o'clock and sleeping by 30 minutes later, if that. My husband comes home from work and I wake up maybe a little bit to see him. And then I fall back to sleep because... And then I'll just sleep all night. I might wake up once or twice, but that's it. I've been really sleeping a lot. Wish I didn't have to do that, but you know. I have learned that I just let my body do what my body needs to do, and it works out better for me. I'm in less pain that way, and it is what it is. So if your body tells you to sleep, take a nap. Which I am really thankful that I had my kids young, because... Ugh, I had young kids right now I don't know what I would do I mean I mean I managed I would think I would get through it 
because I just would, but for all of you mamas out there with kids that have fibromyalgia, I feel for you because it's hard. While this is sauteing, I'm gonna add some salt. I use the pink salt because that's better for you. It doesn't have like all the iodines in it, I think. I'm not sure, but I think. But I like to use the pink salt. So I'll just put like some, not a whole lot, some. And of course now the little holes are clogged. I do that often. I used to have like rice in the bottom of this. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know. Somebody took the rice. And musket powder. You guys know I love musket powder. I'll add some musket powder to this. Ah, this stuff is the best. I am not kidding you. I put this on everything. The other day I made steaks and I marinated it. I put them I put the steaks in a like a gallon sized baggie with some garlic and some of this and just let them marinate all day and they were so good. They were so good. So I'll link this below, musket powder. I'll link it below. This is really good. I'm not kidding you. I am not kidding you. Use code Michelle for 10% off musket powder. Isn't that cool? I got a code, 10% off musket powder. Code Michelle, just my name. Isn't that cool? But I also think this is stuff is really good. It, it really is good. So we're just gonna add some, eh, about that much. That looks good. They also have a red label that I have ordered and it's coming and I bet that's good too. It's a little spicier I believe, but still going to be good. Link in the description guys, it's good. I would never steer you wrong. There goes my dog, going nuts. My dog drives me crazy, just absolutely crazy. I mean I want the thing to bark, I want you to bark. But I don't want you to bark at the leaf blowing across the yard. I don't want that. That drives me nuts. We don't need to bark at every stinking little thing that happens. Major things, yeah, but little things, no. So we're gonna let this saute. Oh, you know what happened the other night? There was a really bad storm here. It was, actually it was in the day, it was yesterday afternoon. And I heard this crack of lightning. I was laying down. It was like quarter to four and a crack. I just heard this big crack of lightning and I'm thinking, oh, that sounded close. That sounded real close. And I text my husband and I'm like, um, when are you coming home? It's storming and I guess I'm a big baby, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I thought, oh, we have cameras on the outside of our house, like pointing at all everywhere. And so I checked the cameras. It gave me an alert, so I checked it. That lightning bolt set off that camera. I mean, it was like that close that the lightning bolt set off the camera. And you could just hear the loud crack of thunder. And I'm like, oh, that scared me. That scared me a lot. Didn't like that. This is done sauteing. So next, we're going to add the noodles. We're just going to dump them in there, dump them in there dry. And then it says one cup and one third of water. So I filled it up to the one cup and then added what I thought was a third. So yeah, that's going in there, see? So we have that. We need two cups of milk, which I have milk, thank goodness. My husband really is the only one that drinks milk at our house. I should check the date, yep. Yeah. This is good. So two cups. Milk, two cups. One more cup, one more cup. Pouring it, pouring it. See, I can do this. Don't spill the milk. Well, that might be over, a little bit over two cups, but that's okay. That's okay. I like corn in this for some reason. It's my fave. So this is the last frozen corn I had that I did last year which this year I think I'm gonna dehydrate corn because I'm just going to. So we're gonna put this whole bag of corn in here because I like it. And this is really good sweet corn too. There's a farm near us that has good sweet corn. Oh, then the powdered package. We're gonna put the powdered package in. That's 
going in. Yep, cheese. And then, because I think we need to, I have beef broth here, beef broth. And I'm just going to add a little bit more liquid to it. Maybe like, I don't know, maybe, I don't, well, maybe like a cup or a half. I don't know. Just watch. Just watch. Probably that much. That might have been eight plops. I'm not real sure. Not real sure on that. And then I'm going to try to get the lid back on it. Okay, did that, did that. And then we're going to give it a stir. Come on over and you can see me stir this. Don't you want to watch me stir this? Of course you do. Alright, we're just going to give it a stir. Make sure it's all mixed in there good. I think it is. It smells pretty good for Hamburger Helper, hey. Can't go wrong with Hamburger Helper. But I think I have enough liquid in there. We'll see. We should change it to Deer Burger Helper. That's what we're calling this. Deer Burger Helper. With the Hamburger Helper mix. That's what we're doing. Now, lid on. I always have a problem doing this. Let's see. Come on. I can't be the only one that has a problem putting this lid on this pot, right? Wait a minute. The whole thing's backwards. Look. Probably would have better luck if... Oh, see? If I would have just put it on right the first time. There we go. So we're going to do this for 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. So I'm going to hit pressure cook, pressure cook, and I'm going to add two more minutes, okay? And we're going to make sure it's not, it, it has to be on the seal. Got that, got that, see, it's on this, oh, there it goes. There it goes. So I'm going to let this cook for 10 minutes while we go outside while we do something special stay tuned to find out what that is you might wonder why are you outside in a cooking video with your clippers because i'm getting a stick you see this stick i'm gonna cut that off right there we'll cut that little thing off this is what i'm gonna vent the stupid pot with all right not stupid pot but this is what i'm gonna vent my instant pot with. Look, it's long and I can just poke at it and vent the thing. That's my plan and I'm sticking to it. Haha, <laughs> get it? Stick. Sticking to it. But while I'm out here, let me show you this tree. I have a tulip tree and right now the tulips are out. Look at this. Have you ever seen a tulip tree before? Can you see those up there? Aren't they pretty? This is the most tulips this tree's had on it since we moved in this house. And you can see, I mean, it's a big tree. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. All right, so while this is cooking, let me tell you about my hashtag. Hashtag Let's Instant Pot. If you want to make a video in your Instant Pot, just hashtag Let's Instant Pot. Let me know that you made it, and I'll put it in our playlist. We've got quite a few videos going in there now. Let's add yours too. All right, we're back and I got my stick. I got my stick. This is gonna be my venting stick forever, I think. I might just put it on top of the refrigerator and hope that my husband doesn't throw it away. But it's been venting. It could be my pointer stick too. It's been venting for 12 minutes, 12 minutes. And we're gonna vent <laughs> this and see how it does. Ready? Hey, look. Oh, hey. That worked out great. Didn't have to touch a thing. I like my venting stick. I'm gonna let that vent. And I'm gonna put my stick away, find a spot for the stick so nobody takes my venting stick. And I'll be right back. The venting is done. So I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna look at it first. And if it's watery, you probably won't see it. You ready? I'm ready. I just like it when it makes that noise. I'm glad they make this noise on this pot. Oh, hey. Let's see here. All right, let's get 
give this a stir. Now I know from previously doing like macaroni and cheese in here that this will thicken up. I know that that will happen. And I think this is a good consistency for that to thicken up. But we'll just stir it around here. Make sure it's all mixed up good. And then we'll give it a try. I'm really liking this instant pot thing. And I really wish that when my kids were younger that I had one of these. It would have made my life a little bit easier. I drove a school bus. So like in between routes I would always come home and get dinner together. And then when I got home at 5 o'clock then I would like cook it or I'd have like the oven preset to go on but that doesn't matter right now what matters is this look at that don't spill don't spill pretty good huh ouch dang on it oh ow, that's hot smooth move smooth move Michelle right but it worked and it's got the corn in there and the corn is cooked well, of course it is the macaronis are good we can't beat that just throw it in this instant pot Get you a stick, vent the thing. All right, let's try this. I don't know about you, but when I eat my hamburger helper, for some reason I save all the hamburger for the last. I'll eat the noodles and the corn first, and then I eat the other stuff last. Why do you do that? I don't know. It's hot. It's hot. It worked. Tastes just like hamburger helper that I would have made in the skillet. See? Worked out perfectly. Hashtag. I'll swallow so I don't talk with my mouth full. Hashtag let's instant pot. Put it here. Add your videos. Make a video. I'll add it. Let me know if you make one so I can add it for you. And I will see you next time. And don't forget musket powder. It's in the description. That is really good. I'm not kidding you. It's not a joke. If you've seen my other videos, I raved on musket powder. I like it. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.